I like to jump to the fight channel. We are at UFC 308, ladies and gentlemen, in the Emirates at Yazi Island, ladies and gentlemen. This is the heavyweight champion, uh, heavyweight division that head to the arena for this matchup. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander Drago Volta. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Surreal Bogomolka. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, Alexander Volkov obviously has a lot of different weapons on the feet. He told us in our fighter meeting that those front kicks right up the middle to the body could be key in getting the desired result here tonight. Volkov appears to have the striking advantage early in this round. Oh, nice something to there. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cyril Ghan, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you, and then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Ghan is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Ghan, and you can see that as we watch him. Right Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming back. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. A swing and a miss by Seattle Gone. The head kick attempt, it's blocked. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Side control now. Hard scramble, hard oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground and ball. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Oh, nice. Inside the closed guard. Oh, he's tight to get him. That is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Under three minutes to go in round one. He passes to half guard. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands. Pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck. To try to choke him out and finish the fight. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Volkov's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Get in and attack that leg hard with that kick now. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice hook by Volkov. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Front kick by Seattle Gaon. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Unable to land with that punch. Thirty-six total strikes have now landed for Alexander Volkov. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. 
able to connect with a beautiful jab. Under a minute to go. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Ooh, what a punch. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Oh, he lands a hook. 15 seconds remain in the round. the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut Nail try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far Ready too fight. many. Ready. Second Ready. round here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Unable to connect with the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes off. Oh, great block there. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now that blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Let's go. Great job by Cito Gandhi. Use his feet to get inside and land the jab. A lot of people are going to be trying to take this guy down, but he moves so well. People talk about Cyril Gandhi as if he moves like a welterweight. No, he moves more like a bantamweight. We have always talked about guys moving more like 135. Cyril Gandhi moves like one of those guys at heavyweight. The fight for him is a problem. Does he have that beautiful jab? He possesses a ton of power that can put you up. There it is. Now he's running out. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change him and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Foster's up and delivers a massive grounded pound punch to the head. Back to his feet. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice hook. Clean with the right hook. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Volkov gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Just missing on the high kick there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round. And picking up right where he left off here. Volkov gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Big ground and pound. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle because the guy hit armbar. Great submission 
Defense a full display by the opponent. Volkov's in half court. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And blocks the shot there. Oh, collar tie. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. Massive hook lands and his opponent, C, will be on his way out of the fight. Big right hand lands. here by Volkov. Well, I'm blind as a bat, but it looks like that's a cut. It is. Yeah, you can see a little blood starting to come out there. What a beautiful shot landed that cut his opponent off. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the books. Heading back to the corner now. Volkov's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are gonna be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never wanna be cut, you never wanna be bleeding, but if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still gotta do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of the and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Oh, head kick blocked by Volkov. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Leg kick lands. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Seattle John. Volkov's taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue. Under his leg kick rounds his opponent, moved it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly. Big leg kick. Oh, nice knee, nice knee. Oh, well placed knee there by Volkov. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that got his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the tough that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. 
So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat them. Oh, 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 this fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Huge left hand. Oh! Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Trying to stay in this fight! One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Don's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Ooh, big shot lands. Volkov strike attempt there is blocked. Just misses with the left hook. This fight seems to be on the table right now with a minute left in the fight. Now to go in the fight. Oh, nice body shot. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, my goodness. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Oh. About that back and forth action throughout the final minute. What a fight as we go the full 15. The official decision is now in, it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, Alexander Drago Volkov! All right, so there it is. Two of the three judges saw it his way. He gets it done by split decision. You've never won a split decision in your career. Oh, I've won a split decision. Alexander Gustafson and while I went to a split decision. Right after the first scorecard was read in his way, I almost panicked because I was like, oh my goodness, it's over. So I understand exactly. Everything that you want to. It will be everything that you want to. I'm a teacher. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup that was. We still got the co main event and mini event here from USC. 308 to come here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll fight you. See you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.